Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And if you've missed episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, uh, I'll make sure to leave a playlist on the top right corner of the screen. Definitely go ahead and check it out. But without further ado, enjoy the episode number 10. And just as a quick disclaimer, uh, tomorrow there's probably not going to be a DMM video because the Song of the Elves comes out. So we're going to be focusing a little bit on that. I'll still be doing some stuff on the side on Deadman mode just so I can keep the progress coming. But the next couple of days I'll be focusing on the newly released old school runescape content just so you guys know uh, but yeah once again if you're enjoying the series like goes a long way it helps the video get out there and with that being said enjoy the episode number 10 all right new task will be some uh, greater demons uh, pretty dangerous but I think we'll be fine 82 defense still training shared so it's pretty good and the next level will be by the looks of things attack so let's get 87 attack also look at the slayer almost at 86 we're getting those levels pretty pretty nicely absolutely loving guffins because i can stay and have basically all supplies throughout the entire task which is really cool new task what do we get blood welds very nice Oh, well, that was one of the levels that I didn't expect to get. Um, 86 Slayer, I'm kind of preparing to get 87 attack. And, uh, well, we just got 86 Slayer, which is awesome. One more level for Krakens. Super excited to start doing them. And there it is, 87 attack coming through as well. The next level is going to be defense again. And then strength soon after. So that's kind of cool. Almost done with this Bloodwell task as well. So that's also a very, very nice. For Necreal, ooh, we haven't had Necreals yet, and I kind of want to get to 71 agility before I do them, so I can do them very safely. Now, that's going to take me a, oof, a while to do, but I think it is worth doing right now. So, 71 is going to actually unlock a shortcut in the Slayer Tower, and that's basically going to allow me when I... Wait, but hold up, I might not actually... Uh, well, basically, when I get the Greater Necreal, I can then use the, um, the shortcut to go up and down to reset aggro, but since I don't have bigger and better completed yet, I might not need that. But then again, I do not want to get attacked there, so I do think 71 is something I should go for. But first, I do think it's time to do a... one thing that I wanted to do for a while, but I didn't have money, but... Wait, fuck, I need to go building mode. Uh, but now that we had some decent gargoyle tasks and whatnot, we can now actually afford things. So I do want to get to portal room in my house. The reason for that is, well, since I'm on Ancient, and I do plan on anti-PKing when I get a little bit more money, I do want to have a house tab with me basically at all times, and then in my house, I do want to have all the teleports around the game. So that's going to be the plan, pretty much. Uh, but I just need to get 50 construction. It shouldn't take me too long, honestly. I think it should take me, like, almost no time at all to get that. About 12 minutes later, we're about to do the 50 construction right here. I think this one gives it... All right, let's go ahead and collect all the runes required for us to create some cool portals. And obviously the cash stack as well, because, well, it does cost a little bit of money. Build a side, build a side, and build a side. And now we're gonna direct the portal. And I think north is gonna be Varok. And then here is gonna be the second one is gonna be Lumbridge. And then the third one is gonna be Falador. Just like that. And then just south of here, I'm thinking another portal room. Um, but this one is gonna have like dangerous teleports in it for now only two one is gonna be to one is gonna be to Saniston and one is gonna be to Camelot 62 agility 65 agility oh 66 agility 67 agility to buy enough for like 77 oh and there is 68 agility three more levels grace was pretty much useless in the MM uh, I don't think so anyway 69 agility Hey, there it is, 70 agility, and now just one more level to go. And then I don't think I'm touching agility for a very long time. And here we have it, with this jump we are done with agility for a very long time. There it is, 71 out of the way, that gives me a shortcut to the Slayer Tower. And with that, we can now return to Slayer, get a little bit more levels, get a little bit more money, and start working towards that 87 Slayer, and then go for Kraken. So that's a little bit of a goal for the future. And yeah, let's do some uh, necreals. I can honestly take this tuna. 
Oh, there you go. 91 hit points already. Very nice. It's really good. The first trip of Necreals is completed, 300k in the looting bag with some rune sword and rune full helm. It's just another amazing money making task, really hyped to do more of these and gargs and just keep filling up the bank with... Fuck, okay, this is shit. I have to... God damn it, whatever. The loot is good. Oh shit. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. New task. And we get Hellhounds. This guy wants to be in a video, so he is in a video. And uh, yeah, very close to that defense and strength level. Hey, there we have it. 83 defense coming through. Very nice. And strength is very, very close as well. And here we have it. 92 strength coming in as well. Very late at night at the moment. The next level gonna be both attack and strength, actually. Uh, attack and defense, I mean, very close to each other. So pretty cool. Happy with it. Um, and uh, yeah, almost 87. Not really Slayer. Hellhounds are done. And we get some blood welds. Very nice. Right, so I currently have a blood veil task, but it's super filled with people. So what I'm gonna start doing here is I will just go ahead and start training a little bit of crafting. I don't know when I'm gonna stop, uh, but eventually I do want to get to, I think it is 75, so I can create Slayer Rings. Let's look it up. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 75, it could be 85. No, it's 75. I do want to get to 75 crafting. It's gonna take a long time, but luckily, because of the looting bag, when you do Slayer, you get a bunch of gems. And I also have a bunch of uh, gold bars that I can then uh, make into either rings or whatever I'm gonna make. Um, but yeah, the levels are gonna come in pretty quick, I think. 75 shouldn't be too big of a problem to obtain. And uh, then we will unlock Slayer rings, which will be pretty nice. Or... If I don't unlock Slayer Rings, I will definitely unlock Slayer Helm, which, once again, I do need 55 crafting to unlock that. So, a little bit of crafting ahead until, uh, you know, the peak time is off a little bit and I can get uh, Blood Welts to myself. Here is 50 crafting coming through. No fucking way. I just got an Eternal Gem on my main account from a superior. I'm just doing a little bit of Slayer while I play my Deadman Mode account and I just got an Eternal Gem. There it is. Would you look at that? I got an imbued heart and I got an eternal gem. <laughs> That's actually quite insane. And here we have it. The big number 55 crafting and we can now do Slayer Helms. I'll probably chill here for a little bit longer. I do not think I'll get 75 as of right now though. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. I'll probably go ahead and continue with Slayer soon. But that's pretty awesome. 60 crafting i'm running out of uh, my gold bars though so we're not quite sure where we're gonna end up on bye have a great time uh if i had the quest done but i don't so let's see what's next gargs nice <laughs> Agility is so broken. This is here is like the only place where they can actually get me. But they actually can't, so good fight, boys. Firstly, 88 attack, and now defense very shortly after. Did that get me? That did get me to 110 combat as well, so very nice. There it is, 84 defense coming through as well, and I'll be getting another defense level before I get any other levels, so 85 
pretty soon. All right, let's see how much we made in this task. 500k in the looting bag. And then, uh, let's just say a, a little bit over 100k in the rune stuff as well. So, pretty damn decent task. Absolutely loving Argos. But I now have to waste probably all of the cash from this task to just buy more attack potions, strength potions, prayer potions, and just, you know, gen generic things. So, probably gonna waste all 500k that I get from selling this. Black Dragon, sure, let's do it. Ooh, Garg's again. Sure, why not? And there it is, 87 Slayer accomplished on the account. Another huge milestone because we can now get assigned Krakens, which is going to be the task that's going to get me my magic levels and a little bit of cash with Tridents and uh, Tentacle Whips if I end up getting those. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how the account is progressing. That is an insane milestone, honestly. The next one will be 91, because I will be going for Cerberus. And then at 95, we will be going for Hydra. Um, I know that these episodes are very Slayer-oriented, like oriented, but that is because I want to get my melee stats to like at least 95 plus, because I want to do some really fun stuff, but I always have to go through this grind, because if I don't, well, my account's just gonna be shit, so I could either train my melee stats doing nothing, or I can train my melee stats doing Slayer, so that's basically what the early dead manual progress for me is, but very nice, 87 already, and I'm really, really excited to be done with Slayer. About 600k from the very next Gargoyle task, very, very nice. Got a black demon task, and that's gonna be really nice. Because we have 71 agility, so we no longer need the keys and all that annoying stuff. And it's gonna be really fun. Black demons are finished, finally. And there we have it. First Krakens of the account. I don't have them extended yet, but 115 of them. I guess that's what we're gonna be doing next, which is kind of exciting, to be honest. And that is everything I have planned for you guys for today. In the next episode, we are going to be doing Kraken. So if you do want to catch the episode and don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn the bell on. Not many people have the bell on, uh, on my videos at least. So I would appreciate that as well. But most importantly, if you enjoyed the video, if you made it this far, a simple like. It does go a long way. It does help the channel get recommended to others. And, uh, you know, you help me out with it as well. So with that being said... I really do hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll be seeing you tomorrow with the Song of the Elf stuff and uh, Privdiness and all that amazing new content coming to old school. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how tomorrow is. And hopefully we don't... Uh, I mean, hopefully we're able to complete the, the quests, I guess. But thank you for watching. I'll see you soon and bye-bye. Uh,